New Albany student Alexa Kropp undergoing another brain surgery in Albany today. This following a hit and run that almost took her life three months ago. Only on six, I spoke with Alexa's father about the teen's progress tonight and what life might look like for her moving forward. U Albany student Alexa Kropp back in Albany this week, three months after she was hit by an illegal dirt bike, leaving her in a coma, undergoing multiple life-saving operations. It's kind of unsettling to come back here. Um, however, for this time, it's a little bit of a, a better reason to come back here, simply because it should be the last brain surgery that she's going to have. In fact, hopefully the last surgery that she's going to have. Her father, Jim, says Alexa is slowly regaining her ability to talk and stand following the hit and run. I'm actually going to get a little emotional when you ask a question like that because watching how, um, how remarkable her resilience has been over the last three months, it's, it's been unbelievable. I, I'm actually a little taken back. I, I really didn't think she was as tough as she was. I have a totally newfound respect for her. But despite months of physical and speech therapy, medical appointments and more, she still has a long road to recovery ahead. It will require a couple of screws that will permanently be in her head. The hard part about this is just as the one side of her head, all the hair was finally starting to grow back, all now has to be reshaved and all has to come back off and it kind of goes back to square one um, as a young girl. To have to see that again and look in the mirror every day, it's difficult. Nadine is hopeful for a successful brain surgery today to bring her one step closer to life as she knew it before that fateful night. She calls Albany her home. Um, she created a nice life for herself here, you know, freshman year of college, and she's really determined to get back to school in the fall, actually. Um, whether that will happen, we'll see. Jim had this to say about the person responsible for injuring his daughter. I watch what she's going through each and every day, the suffering that she's going through, the, the, the physical, mental, and emotional scarring that that child is going to have for the rest of her life, that I, I, the, the punishment will never fit this crime in our eyes, never. And while Alexa doesn't remember or yet register what happened to her that night, Jim is hopeful this surgery today is the first step in putting it all behind her. And Jim says he's so incredibly thankful for all of the community support for Alexa and his family throughout this process. The person who hit Alexa and then sped off was found and arrested and is currently behind bars.